What's going on YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists out there, welcome to this solo RPG tool video uh, where I look at various tools that you can use in your solo RPG games or tools to help with your group sessions, either or usually. Um, some tools are specifically designed for solo use, others are just designed to help you in general right today looking at the tomb of adventure design okay uh, so from frog god games okay so here we are i'll read it out to you it's friday night 6 p.m you haven't prepared an adventure and you still need to get to the store and buy snacks the group is heading over to the game in two hours what do you do don't panic Frog God Games is proud to present to you a comprehensive guidebook for designing your own fantasy adventures. The Tomb of Adventure Design by Matt Finch presents advice and tables on topics ranging from villainous motifs to monster design to dungeon encryption. Whatever, Whether you're a veteran game master or a total beginner at the fine, fine art of creating adventures, you will find that the Tomb of Adventure Design is an invaluable resource when it's time to prepare for the game. Whatever you need for your adventure, you'll find ideas and tables for it in this book. You're on your own with the snacks. <laughs> so that's that's a funny. Um, so yeah, so let's, let's have a look. So here we are. So it's it's a softback book, this one. Um, it's more designed, it's more focused towards sort of dungeon adventure creation. But it's got it all here. It's it's got uh, so many tables. It's just far. I just you know far too many to go through. But basically, it's everything you need here. So, all right. So we have obviously the introduction and the creativity sections. Blah blah blah. Uh, starting points. Got monsters. Um, dungeon design. How to design it. It's all there. And these are all designed to be created quickly. Okay. So then, the, but it has, it does have a section, a whole section on non-dungeon adventure design, okay? So it's got wilderness tables, desert tables, forest adventures, castles and ruins. It's, I'm just picking on uh, some, you know, find food. Um, you know, it's just, it's got villains, it's got motives, it's got all sorts in it. Literally these table books when you're playing a solo game or you know you want something to refer to if you're in a group situation you think oh these guys have gone to the temple which i haven't even had a chance to create oh shit what do i do just go to one of these tables find a temple a suitable temple whether it's this book or you know one of the many other tools i recommend just start generating so give me a moment guys you know a couple of minutes boom a few dice rolls you're done you're good to go and you've just got it all here ready. So, but this, it is designed more for your actual, more uh, immediate environment creation, okay? Um, so it's black and white, as you can see, okay? But, um, yeah, just, I mean, just look, you can see all these tables, you won't be able to read what they are, but there's just so many tables. Locations in a city, okay? What area do you stumble upon? Let's roll a D100, I don't know, 74. 71 to 80, it's a public park or gardens. You stumble upon a public park or garden. You know, it's just, and then you can go to, who do you meet there? And you just go to that table, for a roll for an NPC, and then roll for what their motives are, what they're thinking, blah, blah. It's all here, guys. This is, is it, Tomb of Adventure Design. Another tool for your RPG toolbox. It's really good. Um, like I say, they've, they've cut down a little bit on production value by making it softback. Um, you know, that's, as long as provided you look after these books, they should still last you quite a while. Um, I do find the softback books don't hold up quite as well. But that's just, that's a very, a very, very, very minor um, niggle. You know, it would have been nice to have hardback, but, and I don't actually know, they, they might come in hardback, but this 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 one is a softback, but, you know, you should be able to pick it up. Amazon again, um, does it, is it, does it say in here? It doesn't actually say, 
but I got mine from Amazon anyway, so, you know, the all these tools, brilliant, especially if you are solo role-playing, and guys, this isn't the video to be talking about that, but um, I've had so much fun with solo role-play, uh, you know, it's just more than I could have possibly imagined, so, you know, but just bear in mind, whether you're soloing or group gaming, these tools will help you immensely. So that's it guys, that's the Tomb of Adventure Design, thanks ever so much for watching, remember all brushes lead to what I'll see you on another video, and bye for now folks, bye bye!